Trudeau's liberals answer the question no progressive seems to be able to handle. And in their response, I think the Justin Trudeau liberals have joined the ranks of the Danielle Smith conservatives. You know, the people, the liberals previously labeled as backward transphobes. Yeah, those guys. What is a woman? That is the question. Now, normal people will say an adult human female. It's easy. It's not a feeling or a state of mind or a way you dress or present or comport yourself. It's just good old-fashioned biology. However, on the modern left, there's a congenital inability to answer this one question. To answer this one question, whose answer is rooted in the common knowledge of all of human existence. And the left can't do it because the self-evident answer clashes with the modern left's radical anti-reality agenda to tear down every functioning societal norm and convention and replace it with something gross and hedonistic. This condition on the left is something which spawned a hit documentary by The Daily Wire's Matt Walsh. What if a man decides that his, his gender identity is, is woman? A woman has its own duty, and a man has its own duty, and a lady cannot do the duty of a man, and a man cannot do a duty of a woman. The question has also become a bit of a clever quip or a comeback anytime a liberal prattles on about women's issues. But what happens when you ask Canada's women's ministry what the department thinks a woman is? Conservative MP Carrie Lynn Finley did just that through an inquiry of the ministry. And the answer was inserted into the official House of Commons Hansard record. And the answer, according to the Liberals' own measure of the issue, must be considered a transphobic violation of human rights or something or other. Here's the question. It's question number 2473 coming from, as I said before, Ms. Carrie Lynn D. Finley, who asked, with regard to government definitions, what is the government's definition of a woman? The answer came back from Ms. Lisa Hefner. She's a Liberal MP acting as a Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister for Women and Gender Equality and Youth. Mr. Speaker, a woman is an adult female human being. The Government of Canada is committed to ensuring that its policies, programs and initiatives are inclusive of all individuals and reflect the diversity of experiences of the Canadian population. Okay. But what this means is the Liberals, officially speaking, are now on the same side of the issue as the people they call transphobes, like Alberta's Premier Daniel Smith, who is currently protecting women's sports from male bodies. It is telling that the week after welcoming uh, far-right American conservative Tucker Carlson to her province to sit with him on stage, Danielle Smith has now moved forward with the most anti LGBT policies of anywhere in the country. The Liberals also fall down on the same side of the issue as Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe, who is busy protecting parents' rights from radical sex activists in Saskatchewan classrooms. But you wouldn't know any of this from the Liberals' own public statements and pronouncements, including those of the minister in charge of the women's ministry, Marcy Ian. I also want to draw a line to what happened last week because I think it bears saying that in Alberta, the Premier welcomed Tucker Carlson. And Tucker Carlson espoused far-right views. That's not surprising, but it was homophobic, it was anti-trans, anti-queer, and the Premier validated that. So who's wrong about what a woman is? Is the Liberal government's own women's ministry wrong? Or is it the so-called feminist liberals themselves, including the feminist liberal in charge of the women's ministry, Marcy Ian? Or is someone in the women's ministry getting an angry phone call from the Prime Minister's office today? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. The Liberals have defined an adult female human being as a woman. Great. I agree. Women are the only people who should be playing women's sports. April Hutchinson, a Canadian powerlifter, has been sounding the alarm bell about this for a very long time. It's unfair, and if you'd like to stand with April as she fights 
For fairness in women's sport, please go to standwithapril.com.